Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. We are pleased to be joined by Braden Sullivan of uh, Standish Sterling Football. How's it going? Going good. How about you? Doing well. So I know that you wrapped up a pretty good year. Um, I mean, what, what was it like this uh, this season and how to and just all the accomplishments that you guys have had? Well, it was it was great this year. Um Last year, of course, we had uh, the final four run, so it was it was we wanted the, the extra game. We wanted to make it to Ford Field. I mean, obviously, didn't happen, but it was a it was a good it was a shift because being a, kind of a junior on that team last year. I mean, I was a big player in the offense, but this year I had to step up a little bit. As long as as well as our quarterback, we need a new quarterback, and then defensively, we really had to step up. We we lost a lot there, but it was it was challenging at first. But you know, like everything, it came together by the end, and we had a great year. What's it like being a receiver? Receiver, it's it's almost like like there's certain things you got to do to get open, and I think it it can be tough. It can be easy, but you if, with the mutual like like that relationship with your quarterback I think that's one of the biggest things being a receiver um I had a great relationship with my he's actually my cousin my first cousin um, that's awesome. Sterling, but yeah we had a great relationship this whole year and I think that fell into a lot of success we had so just to recap your first cousin was the quarterback if I'm not he's my cousin. yep yep so it's like, you know, you already have a relationship between that. What, what's it like to have, you know, family um, oh, kind of helping you out a little bit? See, we, we played together the, our whole lives. We've, I mean, even Thanksgiving, we're playing football, everything, we're, we're basketball. We're playing together basketball right now, and it's, it's, it's something good to have. I mean, he's a great athlete, too, and to, to know where each other is always going to be, it, it's something special yeah um correct me if i'm wrong but you're a senior right yep yep so i I know it's i know high school football might be um is now over for you but overall looking back how would you how do you think your high school career went for you i think i mean obviously we had lots of success especially the past two years um i i Feel it's really special. I I got the honor to break the records. I had a the total catches record, receiving, and the touchdown record here at Standish. And I think it's it's wonderful. I'm truly blessed to be able to go out with a great group of guys both years, both my whole career. And you know, it was it was a good run. Yeah. So okay, I'm I'm pretty sure you you've had a ton of moments, but. Can you pick just one that's, uh, uh, it could be a game, it could be something that happened, like you know, like a favorite play or something. Like what, what moment stands out to you? You'd have to be right away off the top of my head, Millington homecoming game. We were down 24 to 14 going into the fourth quarter. And then we, we got a quick touchdown in the fourth quarter. Um, and then the last drive we got at like the 40 or something. It's seven minutes long. It was like we had four fourth down conversions. It was, the place was rocking. It was, it was a great atmosphere. And then we came out with the win against one of our rivals, Millington. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was my highlight of my senior year football season. So. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this. I know I like to ask a lot of football players that, that their high school seasons, um, when their high school season ends. So what does football mean to you? Football, it's it's something you can't relate to any other sport almost because it's a great group of guys. When you have a great group like we did here, um, it's something special. It's just something that you just, you hate to see, but hate to see go away. But it's just, I had a great time playing football and it was just the group of guys we had here. It was, it was amazing. It's something very special. Yeah. So let's talk about um, what's next for you. I know that I do you, I'm sure you want to, you want to continue your um, football career, if I'm not mistaken. I know that 
Yeah. Um, what's uh, where do we stand on that? And I know you want to play at the next level. Yep. Um, I have an offer right now from Elma, Elma College, and I've received a lot of other interests from D3 schools as well. Uh, off the top of my head, Hope and uh, Albion. And then I was talking to Northwood quite a bit um, until their coach resigned. They're kind of on a standstill right now, but a lot of opportunities. Um, and of course, there's got another month and a half left of recruiting uh, before the signing date in February. And yeah. I'm open to all options. And I just, I really want to continue. I want somewhere that wants me and wherever fits best, I want to go. All right. Um, well, let's kind of get to know you a little bit too. How about that, Braden? Sounds good. Um, overall, what is um, what's your favorite play to run? Favorite play? It's got to be just a just a streak down the or not down the middle, but if I'm split out to one on one, that's probably my favorite to run down, try to beat my guy and. That's probably my favorite favorite play, especially with great quarterbacks I've had. They always put the ball right on the money, so that's definitely my favorite play. For sure. Um, do you have any football superstitions? Um, I my mouth guard. I I didn't switch my mouth guard, and I think that's just something I uh, over two years I never switched it and. I, I, that'd be my football superstition. That's my lucky mouth guard. I mean, it, it's going to have to get thrown away. That thing's torn up, but. Yeah, uh, for sure. Um, favorite. Uh, what's your go-to place for food? Go-to place. Um, just thinking like quick. Uh, if there's ever like a Chipotle or Cadoba around. Yeah. Those are my, that's some of my favorite food. Around okay. here, we, we only have, like, the basics, McDonald's, Taco Bell. Um, but I'd probably McDonald's because they have some of the best meals. Just for around here, if I'm, like, I need to go somewhere, it's basic, but, like, it, it's it's good every time. So. All right. Well, oh, one more thing. Um, what is something people might not know about you? Something people might not know about. Um, probably, I mean, people around here know, but like, I love shoes. It's probably my favorite thing, collecting, wearing different shoes. I mean, there's just something about it that, I don't know, like different pair every Christmas, you know, it's just something, something I really like and enjoy, but that's probably something unique about me. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, Braden. Thank you so much for coming on and talking with us and uh, best of luck, uh, best of luck in your next, uh, in, in your football career and the rest of the year. I appreciate that. Thank you. Nice to meet you too as well.